Hey guys, Buffy Game Man today bringing our video for our Tactical Weapon Series Part 9 here for Modern Warfare 3 slash Modern Warfare 2 because we have both weapons, we're going to be doing a variety. So we'll go ahead and jump into this. Part 9, I believe. Get right into it here. Tactical Weapons using Multiplayer Warzone DMZ. So first off, I was feeling pretty chatty, so I went with a Mark 17 with a new NGSW type LCAN. Uh, optic on there, variable optic. So we'll go ahead. This is a really nice looking Mark 17, and we're using the Battlefield Promotion blueprint, so you get that top mount of laser. Now, the only blueprints that give you top mount of lasers are the Battlefield Promotion and the Mud and Guts. These are two blueprints that were available um, season four, I think, for Battlefield Promotion, maybe five, and then Mud and Guts was pre season one, or, or se right in season one, when season one launched right when Warzone launched, so season one start. Those are two blueprints that give you the top mount of lasers. Jumping in this, you can see we're gonna run the 12 inch barrel, so it's a Mark 17 CQC. We're gonna run the one milliwatt pec there on the top pick rail, and this blueprint gives you uh, cable management with the pressure pad there on the left hand side. You can see above the grip, below the pec. We're gonna run the TXV Havoc. It's gonna give you a nice four times optic there. Gonna run the Brute stock for additional recoil control, aiming stability, gun kick, all of that. And it's the, the correct boot stock for the SCAR, the old school one. And then we're going to run the Op X9 or the Magpul vertical foregrip for the front grip on this. So this is the Mark 17 CQC. Really clean looking build here. Let's go ahead and jump into the firing range of this thing and see how it handles. So the Mark 17, you guys know this is probably one of my favorite weapons of all time. So I do love it here in game. Unfortunately, it doesn't perform as well as it really should in game. The recoil is just kind of absurd for how it com the real life comparison. But again, nonetheless, pretty good. You can definitely build better builds with this for sure. I do like it a lot. You can still see the the one milliwatt pack there. Our Mark 17 CQC, really nice build. Going to back out, go to the next one. We have an AUG A3. So we're gonna run the STB 5x6 or the AUG. Or, so this is actually not really necessarily an AUG A3. I think this would be maybe an A2. I'm not really an expert on the AUGs, but I was gonna build an A3 with the FTAC FB20 barrel. But the barrel length is just a little bit too long in the handguard, even though it does have the quad rail, it's just not correct. You also have this 18 inch Bruin Gorilla one, which is kind of also similar to an A3, but it just doesn't, again, just not not quite identical. So just went with a regular AUG barrel on that. It's gonna go with the Silent Fire XG6 or the Knight's Armament Suppressor in 5.56. One milliwatt laser there. Gonna go with the Flip Hybrid, the EOTech with the four times flip. For the comb, we're gonna go with the Schlager TTF3 Razor, or Riser, excuse me, and then we're gonna go with a Fire Drake Underground Grenade Launcher, the M320, for the 40 mm grenade launcher, it gives us also aiming stability. So this is our AUG A2. Really nice looking build, very similar to the one I like to use in Insurgency Sandstorm. Wow, unfortunately it is bugged. Whatever's up with this weapon, you can see it's uh, see-through. So that's not, that's that's an interesting bug I think we just found. But with that invisible lower receiver aside, still a nice weapon. Very good rate of fire, very, very good, I think underrated weapon here in the game was always very good in DMZ because of the fast rate of fire. Unfortunately, whatever we did here gave us an invisible lower receiver. So that's not ideal, but <laughs> um, it kind of looks interesting. So that's the AUG, just ignore the invisible lower receiver there. Next up, we're gonna go for the G36K. So the K or Kurs for short. This is gonna give us the, we're gonna start with the Bruin 80 light. This is gonna give us that K barrel with the quad pick rails on it. Gonna go with the Knights Armament Company 556 Suppressor, Bruin, uh, Bruin Angled Grip. Standard mag for the transparent 30 round mag. We're gonna go with the 
F43 stock for a better ergo. And then we're gonna go with the SZ Suro 7 here for just a one times optic. So this is a G36K, really nice looking gun here. I really like this build. Again, try to make something very similar to what I like to use in Insurgency Sandstorm. Unfortunately, here in the game, they made the fire rate on the regular G36 incorrect. The light machine gun variant does have more of a correct rate of fire, I feel like. Um, but the rate of fire on this is just a little bit too slow. In real life, it's going to be around uh, 750 to 800. Here, it's like probably 6 to 650, it feels like. And I am assuming they did that for balance purposes, but it's still just really, uh, when this weapon came out for season one, it just was like very underrated or underpowered because of the slow rate of fire and damage output. For a 5.56, five, you know, it should, the rate of fire is what I think helps this weapon. But regardless, the G36K, really clean build. Go ahead and back out, we're going to cover the MP7A2. So this is a nice build here. I actually, this I think might be my favorite build of the video, minus the Mark 17. So the Schlager RVB uh, barrel on this is going to give us that extended barrel for recoil, bullet velocity. It's really going to hurt our aim down sight speed a lot, though. Um, but we're going to try and mitigate it with the suppressor laser combo, the ECS Rec Recruiter Suppressor. Going to give us the suppressor and the laser option, which is going to give us um, better aim down sight as well. So we have that. Going to go with Lockwood Precision 40 front grip. Going to go with a... Um, Trijicon one times on a riser. So this is the KRV4 one times riser precision sight pitcher, and it also improves our aim down sight speed. So it's going to mitigate that barrel. Fourth option or the fifth option, you can choose either a magazine, rear grip, or a stock. That's your choice. But I, for this build, I only feel that the four uh, attachments are necessary. Our MP7A2, really clean looking build. Go ahead and jump in here. The MP7 is one of Again, submachine gun wise, potentially one of my favorite submachine guns of all time. It's just a, a really nice weapon, and I really have nice memories from uh, Medal of Honor 2010 and Warfighter with this weapon in the campaign and multiplayer. So, had a good time with it in DMZ, Modern Warfare 2. Just a really good gun, and I, I love the aesthetic. Like, aesthetically, this build I think is super nice. Very nice build. The MP7A2, potentially one of my favorite builds here in the video. Uh, next up, we have two more. We're going to cover the Ram 7 or the Tavor 21. So um, what we're going to be doing here, just the base Ram 7 with a 1 milliwatt pack for the correct pack 15. Going to run the Soro 7 for the that aim point. We're going to run the Sab Comb just for aesthetic appeal. And then we're going to run the Megapool Vertical Foregrip or the Op X9. So you can just throw in another attachment with that one if you want. This is our Ram 7 or our Tavor 21. Looking really clean. Hopefully they do an aftermarket part for a Tavor 7. But I, I do like this. Basically the same model as Modern Warfare 2019. Go ahead and back out. We're going to cover the Castoff 74 or the AKS 74U. So this is the Zeneco version of it. You can see here. Basically a Zenny AKS 74U. So we're gonna run the short tack 190 millimeter barrel to give us that um, key mod handguard. We're gonna run the the Incido Reflex TPS, really clean looking optic with the uh, infrared or the thermal, I should say. Gonna run that PT. I think it's the PT1 buttstock from Zeneco there, the Megarov R7. 45 round mag of the 5.45 by 39 millimeter and the Bruin tilt grip to try and replicate something like an RK0 from Zeneco. So that's our Zeneco AKS 74U. Let's go ahead and jump into the gun range or the firing range with these builds. Start out with the Ram 7 or the Tavor 21. Nice looking build here. And the AKS 74U Zenit or Zeneco AKS 74U, however you want to say it. Nice looking weapon. Again, 5.5 by 39 millimeter.
Really nice looking option there. Love that Zeneco version of it. Let me know your thoughts down below what your favorite build is from this video. I think I'd have to go with the Mark 17 or the Zeneco AKS 74U. Till next time, this is Buffer Gaming with Tactical Weapons Part 9. Till next time, Buffer Gaming, out.